Sports with Dave Calabro. This is Channel 13 Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock. You know, a lot of college graduates are out of school now and in the market for a new job and a new car. Online sites are offering some new options, and Eyewitness News reporter Bruce Kopp shows us how they work. Matt Keedy is pursuing a master's degree in interior architecture. He'll return to classes in London this fall, so he only needed a car for a few months. That's too short of a time to really buy a car, but it's also too long to economically rent a car. So Matt surfed the net to a site called leasetrader.com. That's where he found a van with nine months left on its lease. He was able to take over the lease and pay well below the van's monthly payment. Some of the uh, people that have cars on here offer an incentive. So I happened to get a car where the owner gave me a $1,500 incentive to take over uh, his lease. So that significantly brought down uh, the monthly payment. With the incentive, that brought Matt's monthly price down to $190 a month for the nine months he needed it. He did have to fly to Detroit to pick up the car and pay a $50 transfer fee. Operators of online leasing sites say the service is particularly appealing to college graduates, those who have landed their first job and need a nice car, but due to high student loan debt, can't afford the high monthly payment. So online leasing sites like leasetrader.com and swapalease.com have popped up to offer options, whether you want to take over a lease or get out of one. So it, it was a win-win situation, I think, for everybody that was involved. Matt says there was some delay in getting the paperwork completed, but says all he'll have to do is turn the car back in before he heads back to college in the fall. In Fisher's Bruce Cop, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.